that this bill is insensitive to Kenyans because it proposes to overtax the already burdened uh, Kenyans. Mr. Speaker, Kenyans expected a bottom-up economic model which would put money into the pockets of people, the hustlers, and reduce the cost of living among others. Mr. Speaker, instead of these expectations, Kenyans are experiencing increased yes. cost of uh, living. Can I hear your point of order? Mr. Speaker, I rise on point uh, on standing order number 80. It is against the tradition of this house and the rules of this house to read a speech, not unless it has been expressly granted by the speaker. The honourable member on the floor is reading from uh, a material that he has uh, word for word. Is it acceptable? This is a house of debate, and Mr. Speaker, we are supposed to come here. We are supposed to come here and debate. You cannot bring materials and import materials from other places and bring them here to speaker to debate. And you. And you're a ranking member, Mr. Speaker. Please, rule him out of order. Order, honorable members. Honorable Mulyungi, you have been here long enough. You had me caution Honorable Zamzam for reading a speech. Debate time is debate time. You can use notes as aid memoir, but you cannot read a speech in a debate. If you are reading a speech, uh, deceased, I had not noticed. Go on. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I went to school. I went to school, and I'm not an idiot. I'm looking at this report, and I have to refer to it. So when my eyes look down, that member should not say I'm reading a speech. And I'll continue to look down. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, he is not my equivalent. Yeah? I'm the one who designed this oh, chamber. On, on, Mr. Speaker. Order. Mr. Speaker. Order. Or, Honorable Mulyungi. Honorable Mulyungi. I don't think Honorable Kagombe. Sit down. I don't think Honorable Kagombe was malicious in no, that point of order. He perceived you to be reading. And I just told you, if you are reading, it is wrong. If you are not reading, you ignore it and carry on. You don't have to get agitated. These are your colleagues. Mr. Speaker, I think there are people here who have nothing to do. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I have risen to oppose this bill vehemently. Because Kenya Kwanzaa promised to put money in the pockets of Kenyans. They promised to put money in the pockets of Aslas, the Mamamboga, the Mboda Boda. Instead of doing that, they are taking that money from their pockets to state house. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, anything that overburdens the people of Mwingi Central, which I represent, I will oppose it till I die. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. And you have seen even from the government side, they are also opposing. Why are they doing it? Yeah? So, 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 okay. so, Mr. Speaker, yes. okay. Kenya Kwanzaa, instead of overtaxing Kenyans, they should look at, at, at better ways. Yeah, better ways. That's what you wanted to do. So that, yeah, that's what you wanted me to do. Look at better ways of raising money. Instead of putting tax on unga, putting tax of, on fuel which is going to increase bus fare, yes. border border fare, yes. and increase even the cost of living for that border border. Yes. And Mama Mboga, yes. who Kenya Kwanzaa promised to put money in their pockets, and now they are taking that money away from them.